Hey, we all love saving money. A little bit later in this video, I'm gonna give you five ways that you can save money at Good Works Tractors. Make sure you stick around. Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Gonna do an inventory walk around for you today at our facility. We have all sorts of stuff. So I'll let you lay some eyeballs on it, give you a quick spin. Let's get to it. Oh, before we get started though, anything you see here that we're showing you, you can get at goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. You can order right on our website. We'll ship it to you. So what you see here, this is our box blade section. Now we're still getting our kind of settled in at a new place, all right? But for now, we're calling this home for the box blades, at least for the for the winter time, moving our snow stuff indoors. So any size you need, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. We either have it now or we've got them coming. You can see we've got a good selection right now. Now we are getting low, but we still have some 48 inch pluggers. We normally get 60s and 72s as well. These are three point mounted. The core plug aerator is a really popular item. Got a couple finished mowers, small purpose plows back there. A few snow pushers, most of those are inside. You can see we do a lot of the stacking of the pallets here. I think we've got $10,000 in pallets coming in the next two weeks. You know, we just put everything on a pallet when we can. We want to get it out here in the parking lot and then it's ready to go and ship right back out. We still have a couple of disc uh, harrows left in stock, a bigger one, a couple smaller ones. I think there's a medium sized one that's over uh, towards the front of the building. We'll show you that in a little bit as well. And then you can see we've got a sea of landscape rakes. I ordered really heavy on those this year. Um, it's been a challenge with the whole pandemic and coming out of that and and super long lead times and so some of the equipment that we got didn't come in until really late in the season landscape rakes are one of those we sold a bunch but we still have a bunch left and it's really hard you know demand is different every year and with such long lead times it's almost like guessing or gambling on how much or how many to order of a certain product and what the the consumer demand is going to be for that upcoming season it's a little bit of a risk take but you know we're doing pretty good. I, I don't want to be out of any inventory. I want to have stuff as much as possible, but this might be a few, a few too many rakes to have at one time. Touching on all the pallets and everything else that we have around here, we have everything made locally. These are all pallets made in different sizes, configurations. These crates right here are what we ship out our Versa bracket bundles with. You get a, a weight bracket and then eight suitcase weights to go along with it. So that's what these are here for. And you're going to see all various shapes of pallets that we have big old six by six pallets for uh, big mowers big um, cutters that kind of thing and and snow pushers going a lot of these as well so there's there's not a one size fits all so we get all sorts of different sizes of pallets it's really nice to have them made local here's a look at what's left of our rotary cutters for the year we're all out of four foot uh, we have six foot and five foot left still have a few random colors got one five foot orange a few six foot green we're ordering gray as much as possible anymore um, just because it's it's just easy it kind of goes with everything i promise your tractor will love it you know if you want a special order a green or an orange you certainly can plan ahead uh, you know uh, six months could be a little bit longer could be a little bit less but long lead times for those other colors uh, gray is the color that we're going to stock whenever we can okay so kind of encompassing this corner we do have some del marino left primarily uh, finished mowers right now. These came in late and I kind of snatched them up so we could have them kind of to trickle out over the winter, but mainly for next spring. Uh, various sizes, I think we've got, uh, well, our website will tell you, oh, five, six, seven, and eight foot, I think are the sizes that we have. And then kind of sandwiched in between here, I've never shown one of these on the channel, but I have shown its bigger brother, the Centurion Super Flail Mower. This is the Funny Super, all right? And you can see two hydraulic cylinders. That means it's gonna hydraulically side shift and then hydraulically tilt as well. Uh, it's a, a 132 centimeter, I think that's about 52 inches wide. Uh, good for a tractor like um, a John Deere 2038R or uh, a, a Kubota LX 3310, for example, something like that. Not a huge tractor, uh, a little bit lighter footprint, um, smaller PTO requirements, but you do have to have two hydraulic outlets. We've got a manual offset version, the really popular funny, just a funny top um, and the 52s and the 62s. We, we sell a boatload of those. Um, you'll see more of those coming next spring. And then we do have a big brother to the Centurion Super. This is gonna be the Flipper Super again. So anytime you see Super with Del Marino, that means it's gonna be their hydraulic shift and tilt variation. So uh, 186 centimeters on that one. So 
I think six foot wide, if I remember right, uh, for this one. So it's a, it's a big, beefy guy. This is for like a utility tractor, like my big Kubota M4, uh, a John Deere 5 Series, that kind of machine. And we do have a couple similar flipper uh, standard side shift that you can get with manual or hydraulic side shift. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. These are gonna be all of our larger land planes, our 96 and 84s. Uh, we still have, we haven't moved them outside yet. Um, our 72, 60s, and 48 inch land planes. These are a really popular item. And again, I'm kind of learning my market as I go as well. So I bought a little heavy. I kind of went, well, not peanut butter spread, you know, like the same amount for every size, but um, a little heavy on the bigger stuff when it turns out for me, the more popular sellers are the smaller items, right? So like 48, 60, 72 inch wide three point attachments are typically the most popular with the 84s and 96s. There's just not as big of a tractor market. So that's just not as high volume of a seller. Now kind of in front of me here and, and around me and you're gonna see them all over the place are gonna be rear blades. Got a lot of different sizes, five, six, seven, eight foot. Uh, some of the really big ones you can get with hydraulic, um, swivel and tilt on there as well but most of them are going to be like a manual tilt a manual swivel that kind of thing but a lot of different colors rear blades they've proven to be the least popular of all the, kind of the grading tools you know box blades and land planes are, are pretty neck and neck but rear blades are way behind landscape rakes are even ahead of them for grading too a really good tool there um, now these mowers right here, these are brush hogs as well from Rhino. I'm gonna do some video. I don't know if I'll get to it this year or not, but these things, well, let me bend down a little bit just to give a little bit more scale. This is a five foot rotary cutter, a five foot wide. I mean, look at how deep this thing is. You know, that's, that's like a foot from down here to up here. <laughs> they're they're very very rugged so um now they come at a premium price all right but if you're looking for a heavy duty cutter this is not even rhino's heavy duty line and just look at this thing it's like a tank but you can get them even bigger and beefier five foot six foot seven foot eight foot we've done bat wings i've got a um a three-point mount eight foot coming in i'm going to try out on my kubota m4 as well a lot of different setups you can get we're going to do more stuff on the rhino cutters in the future. Okay, so here's a few of the snow blowers that we've got in so far this year. Some of them have already gone out. We don't sell a ton of snow blowers just because, uh, well, they're, they're pricey. I and mean, there's just no way around it. The more expensive you get on an attachment, the fewer of them you're gonna sell. We sell, I don't know, maybe, maybe 40 or 50 a year, something like that. So you can get them all the way down for your little subcompacts, uh, like the 1025s, the Kubota BX, use a 54 inch on there. We got a 97 inch on the, on the other end of the spectrum that we're gonna put on our Kubota M4 this year and everywhere in between, you know, the 78 inch, 72 inch are good for a four series. Um, you can get a 60 or 68 inch for your three series, like a, like a 30, 39R, something like that, for example. But, uh, a really cool a really cool product where you can drive forward over the snow you don't have to take a loader off and put something on the front end if you don't want to you know a lot of us have to use our loaders for other things in the winter so it's nice to not have that tied up with a blower now speaking of a loader mounted snow removal attachment that's what you see here these are loader mounted snow blades you can get them with a hydraulic angle if you want to or a manual angle john deere quick attach skid steer quick attach varying sizes what do we got here? This guy's a, uh, a 96, so an eight foot wide blade here for a John Deere quick attach. This little guy here, 60 inch blade for a skid steer quick attach. So a lot of different combinations and configurations, but the point being is that this is not a frame mounted plow, it's a loader mounted plow. So you just take your bucket off and you put this on. And so if you wanna go from bucket to plow, to grapple the forks and switch out really quickly, you can do that. All right, here's a couple different attachments. You have a, a few rollover box blades that are mixed in with some pulverizers that we have left. Actually ended up selling a decent amount of these after I did some video on it this year. I think kind of, I don't know, application specific, but a really good tool for that application, which would be kind of leveling out a, a rough area like a like uh, residential construction. You know, if you want to do a nice, kind of grade of uh, a finish grade around the whole job site after you're done. Got the shanks on there that kind of rip through, maybe washouts and things like that. And then the, the pulverizers come back through and make a nice seed bed too um, to, to come through and broadcast seed. 
Uh, a lot of different sizes, single, double roller, that kind of thing, but check those out on our website. Did some video on Ramy products recently. These are for a UTV or an ATV. Mount right on the front. You just get your, your plow mount like you do for a snow plow. As long as you have a winch, that's all you need to use one of these. They're self-powered units with a Honda or a Briggs. Uh, finished mowers, flail mowers, brush cutters, and snow blowers. A really cool option if you can't afford a tractor or you don't want another machine, you have a UTV or an ATV already, get yourself one of these. One of the coolest things, I think, is you can get the brush cutter and then get a conversion kit for it to turn it into a lawnmower as well. So you can uh, basically get two pieces of equipment for a, a nominal upcharge compared to buying two entire separate units. That's pretty cool. Oh, and maybe the most impressive thing is that the brush cutter, <laughs> not making this up, will cut up to a four inch diameter trunk. And then you're gonna see a whole bunch of wheel weights here. We've got more inside as well. Wheel weights for you know your subcompacts, um, most series out there. There's some that are not compatible and some Kubota tractors, for example, like the standard L series, you can't put wheel weights on. Maybe even the B series as well. Well, check with your, with your manual and you'll know if you can put wheel weights on there or not, but do have wheel weights now. Weights, wheel weights and suitcase weights. Important to listen to this. We don't ship these by themselves. They're just too expensive, too, just flat out too expensive to ship. So I make bundles, right? And so like that Versa bracket and weights that we talked about earlier, you can buy those together as a bundle. Or if you buy something else that ships out on one of those pallets that we showed you earlier, like could be a snow pusher, could be a landscape rake, a box blade, a grapple, whatever it is you wanna buy. If you're gonna get something that ships on a pallet that goes out freight, then we can add on wheel weights to that pallet and kind of strap them down on there and send them along with it for no extra cost. So go to our site, you add to your cart that grapple, the box blade, the snow pusher, whatever it is, and then you can add the weights to that. So if you wanna buy suitcase weights or wheel weights without a bracket, you can add them out of that point to your order. Okay, so this is kind of our, our small package packing room, all right? We do a lot of the stuff in here. It's heated and cooled, so the guys do like to spend time in here whenever they can and our most popular by volume item that we sell hands down are going to be these red Spicos. These are the red Spico e-hitch that uh, if you've watched my channel you know what we're talking about but uh, category one don't use any bushings so you can save a lot of money that way not having to buy bushings for all your different attachments. Uh, we sent out I don't know 15 or 20 of them today. These are some that the guys got pre-packed uh, to ship out uh, tomorrow for orders that come in. But we've got stump wreckers in here as well. These are a few that'll get packed up and shipped out soon. Hitch hangers in some of these boxes that are all pre-boxed when we get them in like that to ship out. What else? Uh, oh, the Thatchers too. These long boxes. A lot of you guys ask what these look like or how they ship. 48 pounds, okay? It's a five foot long box, nine inch by nine inch wide. It can fit in the back seat of your car and your truck bed. Um, really easy that way. We ship those UPS ground too. And I didn't see these guys hiding down here. These are Versa brackets as well. So these are uh, a combination, that weight rack here. You can hold eight weights. You've got uh, chain hooks on here. You've got a two inch receiver. This is where we store the pins. That's where they, uh, they get uh, shipped into us that way. And you just screw them in the end for your lower links. They are quick hitch compatible as well. Kind of a chainsaw holder slash just a flat shelf. So if you want to put a toolbox on there or anything else, then our latest generation includes a gooseneck um, ball hitch there as well. So we keep on trying to add more value whenever we can. And we're constantly trying to get better at everything that we do. And that includes one of the biggest components which is shipping product to our customers. And, and so now we have a, a foam packer right here. You can see the different uh, foam products down below. We use that to kind of, to foam around different products that go in boxes that hold into place. We've got these um, paper rolls that we can. This, this paper feeder here just takes a regular roll of paper and crumples it all up. These are really good for padding as well. Uh, you know, we've got all sorts of different materials down here, different tapes, corner protectors, foam guards, you name it, all sorts of different backup supplies. We used to use a lot of this. We still do for our stump wreckers. They're a really awkward item, very labor intensive item to pack to ship out safely. Um, so this comes in, in really handy. And then these are one of the, or two, I should say, of the really uh, high use products that we use, foam corners for our stump wreckers as well. This stuff's super expensive, costs a lot of money, even when we buy it in bulk, but well worth it we seldom have a stump record that shows up damaged. Okay, so forks are one of our most popular attachments that we sell. Pallet forks for small tractors, big tractors, skid steers, whatever it is, we've got them from 900 pound rating up to 5,500 pound rating. We can special order 10 or 15,000 pound ratings, that crazy big stuff if you want to. 
our sweet spot is that smaller compact tractor world. So you can see the green is going to be the John Deere Quick Attach, black is going to be Skid Steer Quick Attach, different tying lengths. We've done a whole pallet fork guide. Check that out if you want to know more. All this black material you see here, this is all a, a real heavy duty black plastic material. It's called UHMW, uh, really popular for snow season. It's a great alternative to steel or rubber. I sum up to say it cuts like steel but protects like rubber. Uh, great material, we've done videos all about it. but. Different applications if you want it for your snow pusher, your plow, your rear blade, your bucket. I don't know, there's other stuff too. You can get creative with it, a lot of really good properties, but it's gonna protect your hard surfaces like a concrete, asphalt, stone, whatever else, but still scrape really well. Good stuff, take a look at it. Here's a quick look too at some of our products that are going out tomorrow. Um, our, our freight truck comes first thing in the morning and picks up our load, so you can see everything is banded down really snugly, securely. Uh, guys do a good job. You know, we, all we do is ship stuff every day. Um, try to take really good care with how we send things out. Our, our freight carrier is really good for the most part. Um, everybody's got snags and snafus here and there, but they do a good job uh, taking care of us and getting product on time to our customers. Now you've seen some snow pushers in other areas of the facility as well. Here's a good chunk of them right here too. We've got another pile over there. We've got a whole trailer load, a semi-trailer load coming from HLA tomorrow too, but, and it, it's deceiving because these are all nested together. They're kind of, the smaller ones are sandwiched inside, kind of like here and here, and then the bigger ones on the outside. So you can really get a lot of pushers, but these are also probably the most labor intensive, well they are far and away, the most labor intensive product for us to put together and then ship out because the pusher itself comes on a pallet and then the mount comes on a separate pallet. And then let's see, the back drag comes on a separate pallet. Fortunately, the skid runners, if you want steel, those are already bolted on there, but a lot of folks want to get the UHMW skid runners too. So we got to unbolt those, bolt the new ones on. If somebody wants the UHMW edges on there, we got to unbolt the steel or the rubber that's already on here and swap them out, that kind of thing. Um, it's, you see where I'm going with that. So it's labor intensive, but there are most popular winter attachment far and away, mount right to your front end loader. You don't have to take your whole loader off. Again, kind of talking about that snow plow outside too. You can go from grapple to forks to bucket to snow pusher and back and forth really quickly and easily. If you have to use your loader year round, it's really hard to beat. A snow pusher is the simplest piece of snow removal equipment that we sell. There's nothing that's gonna go wrong. You're not gonna have to get off there and change a shear bolt out or have a cylinder break on you in the middle of winter when it's freezing cold and it's dark and you don't want to deal with anything else, you just want to get the job done, get yourself a snow pusher. One other thing about the UHMW as well, you know, these are the skid runners, but on those edges that we sell too, you know, I took a look at what everybody else was selling out there for plow edges and I went thicker. I, I just got thicker material compared to pretty much everybody else that's out there. I wanted to be a better value, thicker for the money. It wasn't that much more. It didn't cost me that much more for the thicker material, but I felt like it was going to serve the end customer better. It's going to wear longer. It's going to be just stronger, more rigid, just better all around. And I, well, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, we also have the HD stump wrecker as well. So the mini, we talked about that a little bit earlier. This is going to be the HD, the heavy duty. It's just bigger and beefier for the bigger tractors. We've done videos on all this stuff. So just kind of a brief overview now, but you can get more in-depth information on our website. If you go to a specific listing, more often than not, we're going to have videos that are product specific down below. So just keep scrolling and look for those videos. You'll get a lot of useful information there. Up there, I'm not going to get one down now, but I think we've got some video of it. That's an adapter. So if you have a John Deere tractor and want to use skid steer quick attach attachments, maybe you've got a pile of them already or a buddy does down the road or something, you can get one of those. We have a couple different sizes for small compacts and larger compacts. So it's John Deere quick attach, so it connects to your loader, but then it's skid steer quick attach on the front, so you can connect to those SSQA attachments. Uh, so this is what we have left of brush crushers for the year. So these are a mechanical grapple for the John Deere quick attach. So if you don't have extra hydraulics on your, on your tractor, um, you don't need that for this grapple. So it operates a little bit uniquely. We've done some video on it like everything else, but uh, if you don't want this, well, we do have other options for hydraulic grapples, for electric grapples, other things to consider, but this is a really popular one because you just assemble it, put it on your tractor, nothing else to worry about and get to work. This here is kind of our Wallenstein wall. So primarily chippers and chipper shredders that you see on here. Now we can order all sorts of stuff. Um, this product line tends to be fairly seasonal right so not a lot of people doing it in the middle of winter or in the middle of summer kind of a spring fall thing so you can see we're switching primarily to black uh, can get green and orange other colors too varying sizes for your tractor on your pto power um, but check it out anything that you see on their website too we can get for you 
So we have a lot of grapples. I got this HLA grapple in probably like a year ago, maybe longer than that. I just, there's only so much time in the day. I have not done any video specifically on it, um, but this is kind of a clamshell style grapple, but you can at least lay eyeballs on it. Too heavy for a one or a two series tractor, but like a 3R or a four series tractor, or your Kubotas, you know, you can get these in Skid Quick Attach as well. A uh, good option there. Built very heavy, HLA, incredible stuff. Uh, very heavy duty, very well built. Essentially no problems with any of their equipment, like ever. Now, speaking of grapples, this is what else we have in, in inventory at the moment. So a lot of mini grapples, hydraulic and electric, uh, for skid steer quick attach, bigger stuff for your three and four series uh, type of compact tractors, John Deere stuff too, all different sizes, have some brush grapples, just different configurations, you name it, uh, even some bale spears back here, but um, this is kind of what we have in stock. A lot of stuff from precision manufacturing is gonna be made to order. We don't stock it because they have, well, they have so many combinations that you can get, uh, but some really cool products, a whole line of products, grapples, uh, the high reach clipper uh, to trim branches, uh, the tree puller, uh, the add a grapple is really cool. I've got one of those. I'm gonna do a video on that sometime. You can add it right to your bucket, or if you have a pinned bucket and you just wanna get a grapple functionality, you can get the add a grapple bolts right to the top, and it's just like a top jaw. You do have to get hydraulics to operate it, but a good option if you have a pinned bucket. So right here is what we have left of tillers for the year. So we have a couple four foot, couple five foot behind it and then six and seven foot over here again the four the smaller stuff in general four foot five foot is the most popular six foot and tillers not as popular neither as a seven foot that's just that's just the market right the the small compact tractors the subcompacts really kind of rule the roost right now so we tend to sell through that stuff a lot quicker and it's well you know again it's just trying to make your best guess at <laughs> how many to buy. So I'm okay right now. We're gonna be sitting pretty good going into spring on the bigger stuff. Definitely have to get restocked on the smaller guys. These guys right here are subsoilers. These are the heavy duty ones, a single and then the double shank. Uh, we did a video on that, oh, about a year ago now. It was in the spring, maybe that was in the spring. I guess it was the spring, about six months ago. But uh, a lot of demand for them. I had no idea that they're gonna be that popular. So I've got more of them on order for next spring, but uh, we have a couple in stock right now that just came in not too long ago. Um, there is a standard subsoiler as well that's for smaller tractors, not a subcompact though. A three point hitch doesn't lift high enough. So you're gonna have to have something like a, uh, a two series or a Kubota LX in order to use one of those and have it lift up high enough off the ground, but still uh, great for breaking up hard pan, drainage issues, that kind of thing. I think fall, they say, is typically the best time of year to use those. Got a handful of trailers left. These are gonna be the, the, the single axle trailers that we have, and then you'll see some black kind of wrapped skids up top there uh, on the mezzanine. Those are gonna be the double axle trailers that we have for sale. Uh, more of those coming over from Finland. They're, you know, they're kind of taking their time, but we get them when we get them. So you can sign up for anything uh, on our website. You can sign up for the wait list so you can be notified. If we don't have it in stock now, you're always able to pre-purchase if you want to. Um, and that's just an option that's, that, that we allow. But if you want to be notified when something is in stock, then just add your name and your email to the wait list. And then as soon as it comes in, we'll switch that to in stock and you'll be sent an email. And then we're going to have Ag Spray electric spreaders and sprayers. I think this is a electric sprayer right here. So you can get it for UTVs for three point hitch, whether it's the spreader or the sprayer, just go to our website for more information there. Are a lot of different configurations. Alrighty folks, so the five ways that you can save money with Goodworks tractors. Number one, if you wanna pay cash, if you're gonna be picking it up here, you can either bring a check with you or cash exact change. We try not to keep change around here. Also, if you're gonna be picking it up locally, you have the option to save more money that way as well. When you go to your cart, you're gonna see for each item on there, the pickup savings. Just select local pickup and you'll see it ranging uh, for small UPS ground items on up to LTL freight items, the amount will vary, but a good way to save a lot of money and justify your road trip. If you are active or retired, first responders, LEOs, military, I wanna say thank you, 365 days a year, you get 10% off of your order. We do ask you to verify. So if you can send some sort of proof of verification to our email, we'll reply with that code. Also, if you want subscriber only savings, we are doing that for our newsletter subscribers. So sign up for that, completely free, no obligation, but we're gonna do, well, trying to do once a month or every so often at least, as often as we can, a sale that's specific just for subscribers. Nobody else gets access to it, so you can save extra that way. And last but not least, we have our entire discount club. Now this is gonna be an entire list of vendors that 
We don't stock here. You go right to their website, you're gonna buy it from their site, enter code GWT, save at least 5% off of your order. That is how they track the sales that are associated to me, and so I do get a commission off of it that way as well, but I wanna take you through that list of vendors really quick. Okay, so use code GWT at all of these places. So 247parts.com, all sorts of accessories, parts that you might need for your John Deere equipment, tractors, gators, lawnmowers, you name it. Go there, they'll ship it right to you. 511 Designs, they make grill guards. They're coming out with all sorts of other accessories for tractors too. Small business here in Michigan as well. Lube Shuttle, an advanced greasing system. Sounds crazy, but it is. Uh, just the way that you change out the cartridge, it's no mess. Um, it's easy to prime it. It's just easy to use all around. Recyclable cartridges too. You can get the manual or the battery powered version. That's a great one. Uh, let's see, Big Tool Rack. Love those guys. Um, they have the Ultimate Tool Rack. They have a smaller version, a lot of different accessories. I guess maybe even some attachments too, but check them out. You can really deck out your tractor, good for garage storage, but then you can basically take your garage with you in the field. Heavy Hitch, some really good products there. They're based up in Minnesota, made in the USA products, as, as well as a lot of these guys actually. Um, a really cool garden better that they had. We did a video on that this spring, worked perfectly. There was a small learning curve, worked great once I had it figured out. Their tooth bar is, I think, the best tooth bar design that's out there. You don't need to drill into your bucket. It just clamps down. It stays in place. Really incredible. Uh, JU Fabworks. We talked about the bucket brackets that fix John Deere's bad design. And uh, those things work awesome. So you can really trick out your bucket that goes right on the top rail. They've got them for a lot of Kubota and some universal products too. But you can get a receiver, chain hooks, uh, D-rings, a lot of different combinations. So check them out. Another Michigan company too, made in the USA. Miller Tire, a lot of you guys still see and still watch that dual tire setup video I had in the 1025R. Works for any of the 26, 12, 12 tires. So pretty much all the subcompacts out there. I know they were working on something for bigger tires as well, like uh, the 2025R, for example. So check them out, give them a call. They may have something in the works. Muds Custom, some really great John Deere stuff. They may be branching out. I know you can get buckets, backhoe buckets in various different widths, trenching buckets, almost like a ripper tooth bucket type of thing. Um, but they have steps, tie down points, uh, mirror brackets. Gosh, the list goes on. Check it out. They have a lot to offer. Northwoods Fabrication, they make a what we showed recently, a pull type box blade. I think they have a 48 and a 60 inch electric actuator to raise and lower it. So if you don't have a tractor or maybe you have a tractor and a UTV, you just want one tool, we can get something like that. They'll ship it right to you. Outback Wrap, those guys are great. I find myself reaching for the Outback Wrap more often every time I get a new attachment. I want to do it. It keeps the hoses organized. It protects them. It helps you easily identify what they are. It's a super cheap um, idea, a super cheap product to get for a holiday, for a birthday, for Father's Day, whatever it might be. Protero, now's the time of year right now for leaf cleanup, fall and spring. So they're going to have a PTO powered material collection system dumped from the seat hopper. Contact them directly. They'll get it matched right up to fit uh, your mower deck if you want to have a quick hitch compatible or just a direct three point mount. Let them know, they'll have it set up, even have the PTO shaft cut appropriately for you. Summit Hydraulics, those guys are great. Diverters, cheap DIY can, diverters, <laughs> so you can use a grapple on the front of your tractor. We also did a video on their hydraulic multiplier, so if you have one rear remote and you need more, there's no cheaper way than getting a hydraulic multiplier. It's a do-it-yourself solution. You can do it in an hour or two, and you'll have up to, what is it, six different hydraulic outlets on the back of your machine. Sweepall, another one. You order direct from Sweepall, they make a commercial grade power sweeper, sucks up pretty much anything that you have in its way. Uh, they also have a commercial grade tow behind core plug aerator, so good for heavy commercial use, or again, that same kind of situation, tractor and an ATV or just an ATV, you need a pull type, they can help. Tractor PTO link, we get a ton of feedback on this item, making hooking up your PTO shaft a lot easier. It just moves that connection point out to an easier to access location. It's just a simpler design on there, but you go to Tractor PTO link, get yours. They have them for every tractor from small to big. And last but not least, Tractor Mat. So we showed some video on them a while back. They've got a mat for your tractor or your UTV. Yeah, what we put it in? We put it in the John Deere Gator. That's what we put it in. A really great fit, almost like a, a WeatherTech fit. It must be the same technology. Really awesome there. You can get it for John Deere Kubota cab tractors. I told them they should come out with some for open stations. I think they'd be a big hit. Alrighty, folks, that gives you a real good look at what we have available. And I lost track. There must have been a hundred or more different products that we just took you through. Again, go to the individual product listings if you want to get more details and information. 
Oftentimes there's those associated videos too, so you can get a more in-depth look on there. And we're always adding new products to our lineup, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stick around, watch future stuff in action. And if you want something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. We do sell and ship all over the country. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.